Central Ohio, home to dozens of small towns, suburbs, and a capital city named Columbus. Founded on February 14th in 1812, the community originally known as Franklinton was renamed after the Spanish explorer Christopher Columbus. In its early years, the establishment of the National Road and state government brought more jobs and families to the area. Although the region did not seem to embrace the Industrial Revolution like its larger neighbors, Central Ohio began to build a different and more diverse economy and society. As the Industrial Revolution gave way to the information age, a growing central Ohio began to thrive. It is now host to the largest city in Ohio and the 15th largest city in the United States. But this documentary is not about the history of central Ohio. This documentary is about its future. It's school. Is it there? And you want to get the lights back on. Okay, good. Yeah, uh, I might put them this side. Okay, great. Why is man all his days? Living full of fear, not free of pain. All right, so this is Central Ohio 2015. It's a documentary series, kind of a conversation, really, about the plan for the future of Central Ohio. And in today's show, we are going to touch on some major topics that affect all of our lives. And of course, first up has got to be, hang on, let me straighten that out. It's got to be the economy. Man, it has been a tough couple of years for a lot of folks. In fact, some people are comparing it to the Great Depression, calling it the Great Recession. This downturn is impacting lives in Central Ohio like never before. But even in spite of that, seemingly our community has been able to weather the storm better than most. So our first segment is going to look at some of the reasons why. In some ways, in Central Ohio, we are, we're kind of in a bubble. I don't think that we've experienced the same kind of pain that the rest of the state has faced. And, and I think Columbus has always been, well, certainly in the last 50 years, has been, has been blessed with that. Um, we didn't have the, the manufacturing or the Rust Belt economy that a lot of other cities in, in Ohio had. And so we didn't have to, I think, really deal with the, the, the transition to a post-industrial society. Uh, Columbus or Central Ohio has never had the great booms, nor have the great bust. Uh, we've always, uh, because we've got a diversified economy here, it's not been one, one part. We've had financial services. Obviously, the Ohio State University is located here, obviously being the state capital. Obviously, we've had manufacturing with Honda and the 43 suppliers to Honda. And so it's been very diversified. Research and development, healthcare, huge part of our economy. And so we've been able to grow and sustain ourselves where other communities in the state of Ohio, not quite so much. And so that's served us very well. And will serve us very well in the future. I think some of it is the uh, diversification. We're not heavily dependent on one sector, whether it's manufacturing uh, or something else. We have really the balance between financial services, um, Know, banking, insurance, the state capital, government, both federal, state, and local government, the schools. Well, Columbus has been, um, and I usually don't like to talk up like this, but it's it's been a white-collar town. So uh, government and education, uh, insurance, banking, all of those have been major industries here um, that have afforded all kinds of jobs and opportunities, and particularly education, not only K-12, but when you look at all the colleges and universities uh, that are in this area, they not only provide teaching jobs, but they provide all kinds of other jobs that support teaching uh, and education that, that has made this economy and kept this economy strong. You think about our asset, uh, a state capital, uh, one, of the, one of the nation's most important universities, and we have one of the most important research centers in this country called Battelle. You take those three combinations, who wouldn't want to live here? Because what it is, is it's a combination of energy, creativity, opportunity, and great community surrounding all of this. You know, the city and Ohio State and the state and, and Battelle, and you know, there's this kind of, kind of a synergy there that, uh, that I think is good for the town, good for employment anyway. I mean, you look at 
look at recessions, we're usually not hit that hard. We've had our challenges and we've lost jobs, but uh, nowhere near like other cities uh, in, in regions. I mean, just think of Ohio. If not for Columbus, imagine where the state of Ohio uh, is in, in these challenging times. Uh, we've got the big financial institutions, Nationwide has a presence, Huntington has a presence, AEP ha has a presence here. So we have a lot of industries that don't have the big swings either up or down. So we weather down cycles better than other communities. Uh, we may not go as high on the upside as other communities, but, but it's a much more stable uh, economy. The economic forecasts show that Columbus is going to be fairly quick to bounce back after after the recession. I think a lot of our industries that are founded here didn't uh, suffer as much as other regions in the country. Um, as much as our, our housing market was kind of hit, you know, I think we uh, we fared a lot better than kind of maybe the southwestern region of the country, things like that. So. By 2015, I think we'll be pretty much back, you know, on, on the, the path where we were just a few years ago in terms of economic growth and development. Look at Cardinal Health, The Limited, uh, Bob Evans, Wendy's, go all the way down the list. We have uh, wonderful companies all over this community. We've got to make sure that they're growing, they're thriving, they're prosperous, and that we're doing things to make sure that they stay here in Columbus and grow in Columbus. Well, there's a we're going through one of the most uh, difficult economic times in decades and of course that's very challenging. Um, people have to make, have to take risks in challenging times and that's difficult to do. And I think that's the daunting piece is will people get off the sideline, will cash move out from the banks into the investment? All, all people need an opportunity. They, they just need a chance. They need a chance to get a job. They need a chance to start a business. And, um, you know, the American people have always been pretty good about that, about, you know, being able to work through situations like this. And, uh, I mean, I've got a lot of positive, positive uh, uh, feelings about what's going to happen in the next five years. No, I'm very optimistic, and I really am. In fact, I'm more optimistic now than even when I came. I just feel like things have come together. The university is performing very well. The university's relationship with the community could not be stronger. I mean, people talk about the economic downturn, and there is one. At the same time, there's so much opportunity out there. People say, you know, the, the Midwest is the rust belt. I think it's the knowledge belt. I think it's an opportunity to rebuild uh, and reinvent. And so while the economic climate is certainly a, a challenging time, I actually think it's an opportunity. I think it's the opportunity now to get organized so that when the good times come back, uh, that we're doing everything we can to make sure that all the apples are falling as close to the tree right here in central Ohio.